Once again, welcome to ITC 2309. This one's going to be about chapter 12. There's been an evolutionary process that has happened over time with computers. Uh, way back when, the before time, uh, before time, I mean before PCs, in the before time, most of the computerization was centralized. So you'd have one large computer with a bunch of wires running out. The actual monitors did not really have any intelligence. There was no processing at the monitor, so they were called dumb terminals, which was just a keyboard and a monitor that went back to one big centralized uh, computer. And that worked great for many, many years. But the problem was that you only had one CPU doing all the work, which slowed everything down. And with the evolutionary process where you wound up having PCs, well, that really was a great advantage because now you would have multiple processors that could actually do the crunching of the numbers or whatever you need to do. So as things evolved, what happened was you wind up with like a main storage area for the information. And then you wound up with different remote locations that would actually process locally. So you wound up with a scenario where it was logically related events and you would break things down into smaller, more manageable units. And once again, the idea of smaller, more manageable units is kind of a theme of the relational database concept. So what we're looking here is to take a large piece of data and break it down into smaller, more manageable units. Now, here's one of those things. So let's take any department store, retail store. Or if you was to have one centralized location, and let's take uh, any, any, any department store where you would have like the pharmacy, you would also have maybe the grocery section, uh, you would have maybe uh, some place that sells clothes, and you would have, you know, yard and garden. Okay, so in the old time, when you had this, when they all hit the same centralized computer, it would slow things down. Now in this environment, you would see where you would have to prioritize stuff. The pharmacy would have priority because of the health and safety issue. But what happened later on was as things started to work out, what they would do is they would develop, the processing would be held here and the data would be held here. And that way you can control the data, but you would have the process. Now this would be one logically related unit with all the sub-elements that would be involved into that. Now another good way to look at this is uh, that there are positives and negatives to this. The positive is that you get greater response because now you have the ability to break things down. The negative is that now you have a higher maintenance issue because now that you have data that's kind of broken down, it does wind up into a maintenance issue. So it also is a security issue. When you have one centralized scenario where the processing is done centralized and there is no capability on the outside, you have better control in the security environment. Now when you break it down and allow the local areas to have their processing, you've given up some of the security but you've given up the ability to have faster processing. So there's a trade-off there, and that's a business-by-business -business decision that has to be made, whatever model works for you. In some areas, you want to control the data and have very little to none. And then on the other side, you want to break it down. Now, when I was, when I had, when I was working, we had the same problem in that we had a lot of data and we had a lot of demands on that data, but the staff that we had was designed to maintain the integrity of the database and the users and make sure that nothing went wrong. We really didn't have the ability to satisfy all the requests from all the customers we had. So inevitably what we wound up doing is we devoted the internal staff to really take care of the data and do the maintenance. Now the processing part of it was individualized and that way each of the units could actually download whatever was relevant to them and do their own analysis of that area that was interested to, to them. 
and that allowed us to really develop a better internal centralized process and allow different users to really kind of tailor their processes to their needs but understanding that this is still a locally related event and that's about how this thing goes so that kind of concludes chapter 12.